There are talks about using him as a weapon. Yep, that they'll try to turn you into a weapon. Damn, she... Damn, they don't even want to speak to him. It sucks because Mina has not treated Kafka with any type of like love, respect, or endearment at all. And like at all. She has been like Kafka's number one fucking hater. It pisses me off. So much for her being his uh his best friend. Bro. Wait, hold on. Is she proving me wrong? God damn it, I was wrong about her. I was wrong about her. She does care about him. Okay, I was wrong. I'll admit that. <laughs> of course you are. God damn. He's worried. I think all of them are.
That's true. It's gonna basically be like everybody tripping out because they have like random ass fucking. They don't know if a person right next to them is an actual kaiju or not. <laughs> he, when he was fighting against me he wasn't using his full strength we're gonna fight for real <laughs> of course that's what you're thinking about of course that's what you're thinking about he wasn't using his full strength when he fought me Of course, her father uh, is an actual. Because his heart transformed into a core, I would assume that that's probably due to, to the damn monster that he ate. What the fuck? Of course, his heart is gonna turn into a core. He trans like it went inside him and stuck inside his body. I don't believe that one bit. I don't believe that he has, like, he doesn't have anything to do with the fact that they're transferring the information. Um, he's I got someone I want to save. Hmm. Oh my god. What is going on?
<laughs> Literally, he's sitting there because he wants to be there. He could have broken out at any, any point in time. No, I think he wants to test test you. What? Wait, what? No, wait, no, 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 we don't have to do this. Sir, 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 hear me out. Hear me, wait, no, don't put the gloves on. No, take them off. Don't engage. Oh! What the fuck was that? He took his arm. Yo, he is fast. Oh, run, run, Kafka, run, run. Little. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck. Ooh. Why is he so fucking fast? Kafka's able to dodge him at least a little bit. He's Daikaiju class? Oh, the weapon that he's using was Daikaiju, his Daikaiju class. <laughs> they use the Godzilla theme again. I love it. Kaiju number two. Ooh. Ah, oh, he, he popped his legs off. You're going to have to transform. You're going to have to fight him back. He got to fight him back. He have no choice. Is taking over him. It's taking over his body. Oh my god! What the actual fuck? And it would turn it off right there! It would turn it off right exactly there! God damn it! Oh my god! So they would turn it off right exactly there! God damn. Episode 11 of Kaiju number 8. It's crazy. 
which I thought that this, I thought that this section would come up at some point that Kafka can't keep this form 24 seven or in times of heavy peril or danger, maybe it's a situation where it's just trying as hard as to protect him, but it's gotten so bad to the point where he's lost control. Like, is this like a, a, a Sakuna situation, uh, in Ida Dori where, you know, he's, uh, he's trying to protect him or whatever like that, or he's do in really, really bad damage. So he, his body has no choice, but to go over to this type of persona in order to save his life. Obviously, I don't want to know the actual answer or anything like that for manga readers who are out there trying to spoil everything and anything that they possibly can. Um, but yeah, we got a lot. So the crew is still bonding, still care about him. They're still on his side. Uh, even Mina, considering the fact that I was 100% cold heartly thinking that Mina was an absolute absolute asshole first of all she never seemed like she uh wanted to display any type of affection love admiration or anything like that towards kafka in any type of shape form or fashion but um it seemed like no she's actually just putting on a mask putting on a persona so that way she can she still at the end of the day have to has to act as her position and can't allow her like personal feelings to get in t- uh, in the way of um, how she products herself when it comes down to her job and her career. That's that's understandable. That that is one hundred percent understandable, and I don't mind that one single bit. Um, was ne- Neil or what Neon or whatever like his name is? Um, He's apparently uh, being separated off to a different division. Um, so I'm, are we going to be following different uh, storylines when it comes down to each individual character? Or is this group going to stick stick together? Because apparently they're saying that they're going to separate them. Is this just like a training arc situation that, that we're doing right now? To where it's like trying to understand the abilities, the aspects of each other the uh history stuff like that uh and peeling back those layers or is it just a situation where they're just gonna be doing like a hunter hunter type thing so everybody goes their own separate ways but they still end up having like specific stories that we focus on and move into here and there um so i'm curious about the story aspect of exactly where this series can move forward from at this point um, I don't know what else. Like, obviously, Kafka's gonna end up controlling himself again. Um, I think the kaiju form is literally just trying his best to protect him, because uh, you see that Kafka is in like heavy peril, danger. They're attempting to attack him, and uh, her dad is an absolute fucking dick. But we knew that already from like the first few episodes. We knew uh, that he was in the running for worst father of the year. So there's not really much of a heavy competition or debate about that one. Um, But yeah, man, I enjoyed this episode. I mean, uh, Kafka was locked up. He couldn't really go anywhere. Um, Not much he could he could possibly do at this point. Even uh, the but even the captain himself said, like, if he's a a Daikaiju class, he could get out literally at any point in time. There's nothing stopping him from from breaking out of this place. <laughs> if he wanted to get out, he could literally get out. He's like he's st- sitting here willingly. <laughs> I think the uh the captain is or the general is basically fighting him specifically to. Uh, try to see exactly how much control he has over the kaiju form. Because if he does have actual control over his body and what he can do, what he can uh, aspire to, or what he can take place into doing, 
then that makes more sense um, for him to say, you know what? All right, we're going to trust him. We're going to keep him on a tight, tight leash and use him into helping the defense, the defense court. Because think about it. This is this is definitely a war going on at this point. They can't let the public know because then next thing you know, people are going to be having an outcry, wondering and worrying on whether or not the person that they're sitting next to are looking at could possibly be a kaiju. Like that is terrifying. That would break out mass hysteria. Um, at the, like it reminds me of when um I saw this uh this article that an FBI agent was talking about uh like the lies and everything like that that they have to tell to American citizens and stuff and how they um have terrorist attacks or bombing threats and stuff like that all all the time but they would it rather be more beneficial to let the public know exactly what's going on or to have them live in the the screen the shadow of security 24/7 and understanding that hey this is a, a, a secure place that it's one of the greatest places ever. Like that, w- that's just basically what this is. And I love every single moment they end up using the Godzilla soundtrack. Obviously they're uh, remixing it a little bit to where it sounds like the Godzilla soundtrack, but they're not um, going to get a copyright strike in any type of way. Um, but yeah. I enjoy this episode. I hope you guys enjoy my reactions and my reviews. If you are enjoying them, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and talk to me down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.